Uh, now what we'll do is we'll begin the vertical portion of it. Again, start by fluxing it both sides. What you'll find that you need to do as well is you need to cut the heat back uh, just a little bit as you uh, do a vertical solder, otherwise the flux will just run away. So normally what I like to do is start by getting the two pieces of metal a little bit closer together. So what we'll do is we'll heat this up, we'll tack it in a couple places here. important to get the two pieces of metal tight. If there's a, a bulge or any uh, build up, it's virtually impossible to bridge the two sides. And again, you need to heat both sides uh, very evenly so that you can get the, the solder to bond both sides. So we'll just stitch this in a couple places. And you can see the solder work its way right in there. What we'll do now, it's kind of glossed over a little bit. We'll put some more flux in here. And then we'll start back at the bottom. Okay. Attention to your heat. Solder starts running away too quickly. It's too hot. This is where the very sharp point comes into play. You want to make sure that you put the flat face against the upper part of the copper as you start soldering. Touch the back side of the iron and then it will ride down and drip and drag it right across the front. Then you go up and out of what you've just soldered a little bit. Again, see? Carry that little drop of solder and lay it onto the course. And that little drop of solder hangs onto the iron, onto the point. And just keep working your way down, back up, and just keep building it up. So the temperature is very important. If it was too hot, be running away and if it was too cold it wouldn't be liquid. And this is why the point is so important. Without this point it would be impossible to make this solder happen. Solder starts to run away on you too quickly. It won't stay on the tip. It's probably a little too hot. I'll just go up here and just tack this quickly so it doesn't start pulling away on us. What will happen is the solder forces itself underneath. It will also force the copper to separate. The copper's not, uh, two surfaces aren't touching together. They tend to, uh, they don't heat as evenly. You really have to take your time as you do a vertical solder. Heat is critical. 
too hot, it runs away. Not too cold, it's not getting sucked back underneath and really creating a strong uh, weld that's going to hold up. Okay, so we're to the top.